Hello, Leo, Sun, Rising, and Moon. This is Mystic Jen. This is your reading for November 2020. And the topic is, what is up with this connection? This is about your energy and a love interest energy or, a, or somebody that you're in a relationship with. I did have somebody comment that it related more to work than love for them, which that is possible. It could be work-related. Could be family related but it's a, a connection you have with someone and i want also am doing a new format that was inspired by another youtuber jennifer walker and i liked how she layered the cards so i decided to try that with my own spreads and i want to know your thoughts on it do you want me to continue this i've been doing it with the past couple days with my dailies Leave a comment below and smash that like button if you like this format, okay? And I welcome my new subscribers. If you're, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload quite a bit, and in most cases, I will upload daily. So you don't want to miss an episode. Check out my podcast and my social media links are in the description box below, along with my website if you would like a personal reading. Okay. And also, these readings are not going to be for everybody. Keep that in mind. This is a general reading, not a personal one. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and check out your other signs. Your sun is your soul. The rising sun is the physical. And the moon sign is the emotional. Okay. I'm almost done shuffling my decks. This is going to be a rather large spread. So make sure you stick with me to the end. Because at the end I will give out the obstacles advice from spirit, and the potential outcome of this connection. Okay, now let's go ahead and dig in. We're going to start with mutual energies between the two of you. It's just like your energy is being mixed. Then this is, <clears throat> this is your side, Leo. Now, the, the sides can be vice versa. If you relate more to the right side as being your energy, then that's for you. But is, there is your side and person that you are dealing with. Their energies in this connection. I actually need to move these over a little tiny bit. Okay. Then we have the obstacles. We have the advice. And we have the potential outcome. So let's go ahead and let's get going. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles on your side. And I, I started with your side. I did this with one other reading where I wanted to start in the middle. But wherever spirit draws my attention. Okay, Eight of Pentacles is somebody who is hard at work. Okay, um, maybe this is somebody that you are associated with through work as well. Okay, it's hard at work. Hard at work at trying to cre create a peaceful surrounding. Lady Spring. Spring is something that's fresh, new, and brings new growth. So it looks like that there is, you are trying to create this sense of peace and tranquility and put the work in to make a connection grow. And... You've really done some background search, some research on this. You, and you've really taken a closer look at yourself, I feel, on your own personal role. And we have the Page of Pentacles. This is an offering. This, is, um, edu this could be education. More pentacle energy is... Pentacles is the earthly things. It's your money, your possessions, your environment, Okay. And you in your environment, I get this very inquisitive 
energy about you, Leo. Um, you may be trying to um, try something new. And I'm seeing all this smoke coming from this pentacle. Some of you may be researching and some spiritual spirituality here. It's this almost feels like you trying to create your own peace, peace within yourself, maybe a relationship with self. That's not all ruled out of this type of reading. This may be your other person that's your a love interest or acquaintance or something, but this might be another aspect of you. This whole thing might be about you, Leo. <clears throat> but this is also maybe you offering something or or look this is your attitude, this is your energy. Offering something that and doing something that makes you happy. You are about creating happiness and peace. And we have, you may maybe even come into peace with somebody. This feels like another person here. Creating peace. And I feel that this person might even be you. Creating peace for yourself is the answer to unlocking love in your life. And we have the Queen of Swords. She seeks truth and justice. She may be speaking her truth. So part of this scenario might be you speaking your truth to another person to find that inner peace, to find that inner balance, and to allow healing to take place here. And we have the never-ending story. Um, you know, this... It's almost like you are seeing things as this is a storyline that seems to have no end to it. And I get the sense of wanting some peace and tranquility. And you might be coming off as being cold when, where other people are concerned and distant. But that is your way of protecting yourself. And you are about justice you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Set, uh, or Gemini, okay? And you want some equal balance. You want something that is right and just. Time flies. You know, um, you want something to happen very quickly in your life. And you want justice to be served very quickly and swiftly. Yeah, and this is a contract. This is an agreement. This could be a significant other. So what I'm getting here is time is flying really quickly. And you may be frozen in time because there's all this ice around. Because you feel like this is a never-ending story. But I feel like a contract, an agreement of some sort in this connection with this other person, with this other party, is coming. Some kind of commitment here. And, you know, there's definitely taking a, you're taking a close look at a contract or a commitment. And you are looking for answers to your questions or you may have answered some questions. A lot of questions here. And numerology wise, 44 is a master number. It's not a high vibrational. The main master numbers, I looked this up, is like 11222 and 33. This is a 4-4. Four, four. It's still a master number, but it's more about stability and um, security here. And we have, a uh, we have a 33 here. Potential and growth. So I think that you are on a road of expansion here. And a 7 is potential and change. So it looks very positive here. It looks like coming together with an agreement. Let's see their point of view. Okay, they have the Seven of Swords. So you might have to be mindful. Definitely inspect the contracts and the agreements. Definitely question their motives. Um, because they may be flying under the radar. There may be some trickery here. Um, they may think that you're trying to trick them. Chaos and conflict. Okay, 
Yeah, there's definitely some kind of conflict here over something that was lost or something that somebody that that they feel is being stolen from them or maybe you thought was stolen from you. But they are in conflict right now. They're seeing this as a conflict for whatever reason. Um, I, th I think it has something to do with you wanting to be wanting fair treatment. And there might be a little bit of dishonesty here. This I think this is a warning about them. Treasure, it's about money. Public, public money. This, um, this may not, for some of you, this is not a romantic relationship. This is a business deal. For others of you with romantic relationships, you know, I'm seeing this garden and this is public, this is family. Um, this could be the outdoors, nature, but I'm feeling a lot of abundance here and they are looking at payday, okay? I got to flat out say that. That's Let's see what else comes up. Okay, Page of Swords. <clears throat> they too, like you are watching them and paying attention to their agreements, their ideas, what they have to offer you. They are also have an eagle eye watching you. And they may be stalling and delaying um, because they are the page of swords. They are messages or might be delays in messages. And this is the train of thought. It's like they are trying to gather their thoughts together on how they're going to approach a situation. Um this it, with this clover, this is luck coming. So they think that they are going to get some kind of lucky break in the situation with you. Uh, maybe they and it's kind of knighting this pile. That card knights the never-ending story. So they think that they are going to get this lucky break. And the knight of swords is, or the page of swords is knighting the queen of swords. So this is very intellectual communication. <clears throat> I am not seeing love cards yet. Just saying. Um, Lady Summer. Okay, Lady Summer. This could be something about summer coming to about in the summer season. Or this could have been something that started this past summer. Summer, the season of summer seems to be very significant here. Um, and summer brings about blooming. So it seems like something is blooming. Um, and it's blooming, it's blossoming, it's in its prime. And there could be a cause for celebration. And timing card on this, this is definitely a timing card in this particular deck, June, July, August. So this might be a connection that occurred within those, those time frames, within those months. But they feel like, you know, there could be something blooming here with this connection between the two of you. Okay, we have the cross. It is a burden to them. But at the same time, I feel as though there is a reputation that they are trying to preserve. Okay. Um, they've been worried about this connection. They've been waiting for it to bloom. But they do feel like luck is on their side. And they are watching everything that goes on. And there, I feel like that there is some kind of conversation that is going to take place. That truths are going to be revealed. Ace of Wands. They are definitely, there's, this is about passion and moving forward and new beginnings. New beginnings because new life. This is the start. This, what they have to offer you and on their side, this is coming from them, their energy. A new life, an offer that get, brings about a spark of inspiration that livens things up a bit. And brings things back into balance in this connection here. Through communication. So now we have a literal contract here. 
So I'm leaning more towards for some of you, uh, for for someone at least. This is not about love. This is a business contract. Um, for others of you, this could be a marriage license. So they may have marriage on their mind. Okay. Let's see the joint energies here. We have the King of Cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Kings are air energy. They are, air is communications. Air is the thought process. Um, sometimes it's problems. Cups are emotions. Kings are masters. Okay. They are external. So this is somebody who is displaying some kind of, um, like with an emotional offering, some kind of caring and nurturing energy here. That could be yours, that could be theirs, or that could be both. And this might even be you displaying that nurture, nurturing to yourself, taking some time to meditate and breathe. This is a meditation card, connecting with your angels. This could actually be a spirit guide coming through as well, trying to offer some kind of relief here and bring you answers, resolve. This is the solution to a problem. This is the answers that you've been looking for and waiting on. And from this per from your person or this person looking, this person's looking at you. They may be waiting for something from you as well. This is like, could be a joint energy, um, but it feels like, <clears throat> and if you're a cross watcher, this is probably your person, but somebody is looking towards Leo and inspecting things as well. So I think both of you are really taking close look at this connection and however it resonates, whether it's with family, love, business, work, whatever. The center of the whole spread is the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> we have more burdens here. Burdens and responsibilities. Somebody's taking on this heavy load. And this card is calling for some flexibility. Um, not to be rigid. To be open to what the other party has to say. You both have to be flexible with each other. It's what I'm getting here in order to lift this burden, this heaviness that is between the two of you. And we have the forest labyrinth. This is, you know, this is somebody trying to find direction. And I think that they're, I keep feeling the stalemate energy. Okay. The stalemate energy that is requiring not just you, but the other person to be flexible in the communications, to try to come with a solution. And this is about making a choice and making a decision as well, considering your options. But the Forza Labyrinth is telling you, you know, there is a decision within this connection. And I feel like it's whether you're going to work with them on this or not, or if you're going to take it to a higher power. Okay? Um, there's a man card. We have a woman and a man right on top of each other. seems like the woman has the upper hand, just saying. And these two need to work together. Um, a masculine energy and a feminine energy. There is definitely some kind of decision that has to be made. This is trust, friendliness, friendship, reliability, and I feel as though a decision and coming to terms and making peace with each other, this is about building a friendship, building a relationship that is trustworthy. And, this is, and it's like you both have to come together and have some trust in each other. And I feel that that is lacking here. And then we have the Nine of Wands. You know, both sides being on the defensive. There's these walls up. The battle lines have been drawn. And this is like really heavy energy here that I think both of you, both sides want peace, but it's coming to coming 
and standing on common ground, coming to a resolution with this. And we have message in the bottle. The stork. There is messages of change. So something is changing in this in this foundation. Okay. Something is definitely changing here. Downfall. You know, it's, it's like somebody throwing in the towel and saying, okay, I give. Um, I'll it, Whatever you want, you know. And we got the labyrinth again. Really? Decisions and wandering aimlessly. Wow. This is, November is definitely going to be a deciding decision month. Okay. Um, labyrinth. It's like the woman is running back and forth, running into walls, trying to make her way to her destination. Um, and this could be something dealing, something very public or something out in the public, maybe even meeting in public, in a public place, to go over things and look, take a closer look at this contract or agreement between the two of you. Um... And there's some of you that I'm picking up on maybe prenuptials even that may have been causing a problem that may be causing some turmoil in a potential marriage as well. That's not for everybody. But there is definitely very important information that is coming in November. Okay, what are the obstacles here? Okay, we have the world card. Why would the world be an obstacle? Because we think of the world card as a successful completion, something positive. But the negative side of it would be <clears throat> something coming to an end, an end of a cycle, end of an era. Let's see, why would the world be... Ah, that makes total sense. All that glitters. It's like not getting everything that you want. That somebody presented something to you to make it look so glamorous. But in reality, it's not as glittery as what you thought. But you're, yet, you're still not empty-handed. Somebody may have led you to believe that you're getting more than what you're... What you. So what we have here as the blockage is maybe failing to complete a cycle, being reluctant to complete a cycle, having issues with that. Because somebody may have higher expectations than what the other person can meet. And we have the owl's card. This is another version of the birds. This is about having intelligent conversations between the two of you. And this may be a matter of not listening to each other. Um, we have the owl here and the one flying away. This is giving me the image of... A breakdown in communication. So there may be an issue with getting your point across and actually understanding one another. The advice. We have the three of pentacles. That this is saying it's going to take some work. This is teamwork. This is working together to solve the issue at hand. Enchanted gifts is more like I feel using your intuition um, I get this very lighthearted. She reminds me of a ballerina. Very dainty, very light. I get the image of lightheartedness needs to play a part. Be light, kind of lighthearted, lighten things up, work together, get out of the doom and gloom mindset. This is a like the down and out card. This is the Whispering Hall. Um, it reminds me of, um, you know, having these insecurities, lack of confidence, okay? Um, there's this self-doubt that sets in that brings about depression. And in some instances, this is ignoring a problem. That's, but I don't feel that way, that that's what the message is here. I feel this is changing your mindset, being a little bit lighthearted, not so down on yourself, not doubting um, the blessings that are to be, that are coming to you. 
because this is divine time and divine guidance here. This is also saying, listen to your counsel. Okay. Um, I feel like you, when you get out of this mindset, you are going to find some direction with this connection here. Potential outcome. Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is still a knight in motion. Okay. But he's geared toward his physical. The He's geared toward his security. He's very solid. And he is more about doing things right, being very detailed-oriented. And knights are a fire. So fire energy is taking action, right? So knights are action cards. So there is de definitely, there is some action taking place. Knights can also bring change. It may be slow, but I feel like there is a need for patience here, okay? You're going to have to be patient for the situation to change. And don't be too caught up in your head over it. You know, somebody is taking their time and really thinking about this connection. And the Phoenix is about change and transformation, the phoenix is rising up out of the ashes. So you may have been feel somebody may have been feeling as though that everything was lost. This is a rebirth. This is a second chance. Okay? This is like kind of like the judgment card. And this is something being resurrected. Rising up out of the ashes. So you can look at this as like the judgment card of the tarot. So there's going to be this sense of, you know, when things seem to be going south in this situation, something is going to be reborn. And it's going to bring mo emotional fulfillment. And there is a, I always think of the lunar cycles here. It may take a month, a lunar cycle may take all the way until the end of November to see a result from this. Um, but there is this sense of peace and calm. There's this sense of, you know, emotional fulfillment, an emotional rebirth, kind of like hitting the reset button. And I get the sense of finally being able to sleep because um, there's a lot of unrest in this whole reading. And these two mirror each other, you know, having some deep emotional conversations that are going to lead and kind of guide and you're going to ha eventually get a sense of direction of where this connection is going. Okay, I do thank you, Leos, for tuning in. This is this ends your reading. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will catch you in the next video. Blessed be.